And welcome back, everyone, to the Quirk Creation Series here on... Why am I telling the day? I only do that for the box office. Uh, I'm tired. I'm doing this late. Uh, but I wanted to get it out before the day was over. So, this one comes to my personal list. Darth Vader. Darth Vader, as well as any other Force-sensitive Jedi or Sith-type character, poses a bit of a unique challenge for the My Hero world. And I can't recall if I've done another one before, but... The issue is this. How exactly do you translate the Force into something unique for each character? When the Force can do just about anything, that uh, anything really overall. So, I think we have to tailor each Force user to a certain aspect of the Force to make it seem unique. Unless, of course, you can translate bloodlines like Darth Vader to Luke and Leia. In which case, then we can go a little bit more genetic. Starting with Darth Vader, though, what can we use? I think what I like the most is the concept of manipulating energy to some degree to create various effects, particularly using mental energy, using telekinesis, using telekinesis to theoretically create energy, like um, create friction or whatever, um, maybe some level of mental dominance, so, so be it, so uh, something along those lines. But it needs to be tied to something, particularly with dark side users. And I think with dark side users, we have a combination of very strong, almost primal emotions. We have anger, we have rage, we have lust, we have hate, uh, we have passion. With Vader, I think we can use hate for this. And the way I see this, I see it working is this. As a young kid, as Anakin Skywalker, in the My Hero world, his quirk would have activated. They would have determined what the quirk, uh, the quirk factor was, what it did. And the fact is, is that as a kid, he probably would not have a very, first off, a lot of control. But second off, he would not have a strong quirk as a kid. A quirk that's, that is powered by hatred of things, especially as a kid, isn't really going to be all that powerful. You're not going to hate a lot of things as a kid because your concept of things is going to be minimal. And the things you do hate, like broccoli or spiders or whatnot, or, or Susie down the street, it's not going to be that strong usually because it's it's not true hatred. Yeah, you might hate, a, like, I hate the pineapples. I There's nothing pineapple related in this world I have met yet that I like openly. I, I absolutely do not like pineapple at all. I would... I was going so far as to say it's one of the only foods on the planet that I openly hate. But do I loathe it with a passion? No. Um, do I hate it? So if I had this quirk, do I, because I hate it, would it power me up with this quirk? Sure. But as you get older, you experience more of life, and you get a lot more jaded and cynical over certain things, then actual hatreds can really kind of form. With the Vader, though... I think, first off, Vader would still be a villain here, and he would still have his suit, which I think leads towards where the true strength of his quirk could come from. Because, honestly, I could see Vader's origins in the My Hero Academia world still being the same as Vader's origins in the Star Wars world, just in the My Hero world. He was seduced, maybe by all for one of all people. He ultimately got into a fight with either a sensei or a friend of his, and was... Maul was brutally injured, lost most of his limbs, and was given and just developed and even lost his wife. You know, despite the fact that he says, I hate you, it's really the fact that he hates himself because he, it's his fault. Deep down, Vader knows it was his fault, and he loads himself for that too. This is where, and then he gets fixed up, he would still get the suit. It might be altered a bit for the My Hero world, but he'd still get the suit. He wouldn't have a lightsaber because that's... There's nothing quirk-related about the lightsaber. But when you then factor in that he hates a lot of things and with a burning passion, now you're looking at a guy who could literally move a car with his mind with no problem. Who could just crush a bunch of necks just by flicking his wrist. A guy who can literally maybe create, because uh, Vader can't do Sith, uh, Force Lightning, but he can do something I believe is called Kinetic, which is basically creating static electricity that kind of mirrors Force uh, Force Lightning. So he could maybe create that. 
he could theoretically mentally dominate someone just by just kind of kind of like hitting their mind with his rage and overpowering them. He could be a very scary force as Vader. But would he be the most dominant force in the world? Probably not. Uh, first off, his villain name would be Vader, Darth Vader, uh, and his awakened quirk would probably be after his accident, where it's just everything is strengthened. Just hating one thing powers him up a lot. Hating a lot of things with a lot more passion makes him one of the most dangerous men probably on the planet. However, this quirk does come with some weaknesses, as I just stated earlier on. Especially in your younger years, your more developing, developing years. <laughs> Excuse me one second. <coughs> I still got a cough left over from my cold. It's currently sucking on a cough drop. So if you hear, if you can hear any rattling, that's a cough drop in my teeth. Um, it's helping though. Oh, like I said earlier though, especially with your formative years, the less you hate and the less passionately you hate, the, the less powerful you're going to be with this quirk. Like, Vader before, he, like, let's say hypothetically you get 15, 16-year-old Vader, however they are, when they hit, uh, hit uh, UA. I think it's like 16 years old. Let's say you get 16-year-old Anakin. Uh, at that point in his life, he's probably hasn't experienced too much wrong. Yes, maybe he hates a certain faction of heroes, or maybe he hates a certain faction of villains or something like that. But, I mean, you're probably getting just, like, a standard telekinesis kind of individual. Maybe he can move a throw throw an object as heavy, like, as a chair or a person around a bit. Uh, and still create, like, the lightning effect or whatever. But it just wouldn't be as powerful. If his la a lack of hatred is going to hinder this quirk immensely, which is why... Which makes complete sense when you think about it for Vader's character, where, obviously, his hate fueled him as Vader... But he was then brought back to the light side, so his dark side powers were pretty much gone. Although, with there's a lot of debate on what happened in Ahsoka, so what do I know? Um, there's a lot of people thinking he's the new father. Look, unless that's confirmed, you can't use that in verses. I saw someone, I, I love Stupendous Wave, but he did a video, was like, why, this conversion of Anakin would completely thrash Amaloth. I'm like, oh, really? And it's all based on speculation, I'm like... I, you can't, no, no, dude, that's, that's just, that's clickbaiting. You're better than that. I love Stupendous Wave, but come on. Anyway, so there's that. Also, any individual who probably has a just stronger variation of his quirk, stronger telekinesis, mental protections, uh, the ability to absorb energy, they're, they're going to be able to overpower those aspects of his quirk as well. But they also have, would have limitations. It's not like he can lift a mountain or anything. He's still... Still limited in this world, but he's extremely powerful nonetheless. <clears throat> and so, then I think would probably be a good quirk for someone like Vader. Now, down the road, whenever I get to other Star Wars characters, translating the quirks into something else is gonna be a little bit trickier. Because I gotta try to channel the Force into other, um, into other Force characters and try to make it unique. My, mind you, again, relations are are an exception to this. Relations are an exception, like Luke and Leia could very well have a quirk similar to his, maybe altered to some degree. Anyway, though, I digress. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.